seven days, the zombie gods get angry and they begin to send enemies at us. Oh, they send in the dogs too. But I'll go back to the episode of seven days today, Alpha 17, season two. Welcome to day 14. The horde is about to strike in its full power. This is our super. Whoa! Almost fell down that hole. Forgot we're a little bit over encumbered or slowed down by something. I don't know. But this is what we are going to be calling home for this horde. We have one kind of. Oh dear, mama! There's already a mini horde, dude. It hasn't even started. But we got one little, uh, whatchamacallit, miniature horde coming here before the massive day 14 horde begins its strike. And okay, dude, there's literally about to be two hordes attacking us. Luckily, luckily, we do have some decent defenses set up. And also we got this whole shebang back here where we should be able to see what's going on a little bit nicer than we otherwise would. But this is the day that we dread. Every seven days... The zombie gods get angry and they begin to send enemies at us. Oh, they send in the dogs too. Luckily, we got tons of spike traps set up down below. They are going to begin activating those. And oh, mama, listen to the havoc that they are wrecking. Luckily, we may have died a little while back and actually lost a lot of our best loot all the way in the middle of Bufu freaking Egypt. We got to recover that after this horde is done and craft up a, uh, whatchamacallit, we're gonna try and craft up a chopper as well so we can make our way over there even faster. But at the very least, we do have defenses set up and we got plenty of ammunition to make some magic happen. Is this the best fortification of all time? No, I've seen better fortifications. I've definitely seen better fortifications, but God dang it, we gotta make it work. And I'm trying my best to make it work right now. And oh mama, dude, look at these fellers. We have no need. Oh, they're just dying on the spikes. Good to see. Boop! Big hit, baby. Oh, that never gets old. A little bit of hunting rifle rain up in here. Ah! Did I even hit that one? I don't know if I hit that one. I just hope I don't see these fellers start getting up super high off the jumps. We've kind of destroyed the staircase inside of this building, so there should be no way to get in. But, uh, dude, they might make their own way. Look at them go! They're eating through our spikes! I thought my spikes were supposed to eat through them! This is not the way I anticipated things going, but it's a ton of EXP awaiting us, and guess what? EXP is a really good thing. That is how we can unlock better recipes, become more powerful, and that is all things that we need at the time being. Dear mama freaking thunderbolt lightning, whatever what you call you want to call that. Yo, I hope they don't break this. Like, I don't know if this is going to fall down. Or how that's gonna work. Yo, I got a prime situation for shotgun rain. Some stay dry, the horde will feel the pain. Shotgun rain. The big fellers will die and make them sing. I, I only have one verse of the hit song, Shotgun Rain, recorded okay, but god dang it, it's the verse that's dope. Shotgun rain. Let's spread what we got. We got eight more bullets over here. Still got five more hours of nighttime. Hopefully, we can destroy the horde before nighttime is over because oh they got they got oh no they got spider zombies those could scale our walls if they were smart enough it doesn't look like they're smart enough although i'm very concerned i hear so many of these guys down below oh this could be no bueno oh and apparently i'm cold god dang it it's probably from all that armor we equipped we are decked out in steel okay this is really bad I, I have, I don't see any of them right now. Oh, mama, what was that noise? Oh, it's the screams of a spider zombie. That thing sounds like it's in my ear. Dude, that's the one thing that horrifies me about these hordes, man. There's just so many noises. You never know when they're right on top of you. And when they're just trying to break down some walls. Right now. Well, they're not on top of me, but god dang it, they are below. And we just gotta continue dealing with these schmucks. Oh, I just want this horde to be over. This might be one of our most difficult ones because we lost a lot of our best power tools that we are going to use to make a much better base. Way better traps, all that type of shebang. But we still had a decent amount. We lost a ton of ammo too. And some of our better guns and weapons, but we still had enough ammo and some of the basic guns to make things work. And hello? Where are your boys at? Come on. I got some shotgun rain. Oh, and they're sending the dogs too. I hope we do not need to deal with those. I think we did a decent job designing this base, but 
I do they they're probably destroying the structural integrity of this place from the inside out excuse me I need to yeah let's eat up a little bit of honey actually get a little bit of food in my belly bring our max stamina up a little bit dude I could hear the screams of those spider zombies below oh my god they've like destroyed all of our traps okay here's what we gotta do we gotta hopefully bring them over to this side we should have even more traps available over here do I have any more wood frames? Can I craft some more wood frames? We crafted some wood frames, baby. Six of them, to be exact. We're up on the top floor of this furniture store, which just goes to show, all right? Furniture stores not to be slept on in the apocalypse. Apparently, they super deadly, super lethal. Oh, let's not fall off. My dumb butt almost definitely just fell off a little bit. Just trying to build a little structure. Oh, at least it's starting to get kind of light out. So I could see my base get destroyed in front of my eyes. It's actually pretty dang light. I'm not gonna lie, but dude. Oh mama, there's just so many of them. But they're running into this side of our base where we set up a ton of spikes. How many more of these people are there? And dude, with every horde that comes every seven days guaranteed, they also become stronger. We start seeing stronger zombies that have more health, new abilities, just entirely new types of zombies. The whole shebang. And this is the prime time for us to blow through our ammo since it doesn't really matter if we make noise during the horde because we're being swarmed by zombies anyway. But uh, otherwise, if we were to shoot off our gun, we would need to worry about drawing the attention of zombies and kind of potentially getting like hordes to attack us. But for now, hello, okie dokie. What's up, big boy? Come on, come on, come on. Can I get a couple of shots off? Because if they die to my traps, we don't get EXP. But if they die to my bullets, oh ho ho. EXP ahoy, matey. Urg. I feel like Mr. Krabs for some reason. I don't know. Apparently when I think pirate, I think Mr. Krabs. Oh mama, dude. They, yeah, I don't know if we could, we, we need to get our backpack back. As you guys could see, all the way back over there. That is where our backpack is. Literally in the middle of nowhere. I know. Don't need to tell me twice. That death was a big boy mistake. But that's gonna be where a lot of our power tools are and just better stuff and materials. And we need to use that to build a better base because I'm not gonna lie. Uh, day 21, hiding on this Aldo's cabinet, it ain't gonna work because our, our traps have been destroyed. Luckily though, hey, we got the level up. Luckily though, I mean like it's kind of calmed down. I'm not seeing any new zombies swarming us. It literally looks like daytime right now, so I'm not gonna complain, because I can actually see. But I am still hearing some stragglers. So we might go and investigate that. And apparently we're thirsty, so allow me to- Oh no, I ain't got no hydration. My hydration nation! I have failed you. I'm so sorry, Bebe. But they sh we also destroyed the staircase that leads up here, so there should be literally no way that they got here, but we could kind of assess the damages a little bit. See what they've done. And, uh, dang, dude, they took out their anger on our base. That is for sure. I, I just, I still hear a couple of stragglers below. Including a dog, which is why I really don't want to jump down there. Zombie dogs are lethal. Especially to me. Dude, just any type of zombie animals are my worst enemy, man. Those things and me do not go together. Two plus two might equal four, but star plus a zombie dog equals no bueno. All right, and that adds up through the additive property of math. 100%, dude. 100%. And they're not really getting lured out here. We do need to go... Uh, oh, no, did their loot disappear? I saw some of the fellers drop, like, loot bags and stuff. I'm not seeing those anymore. There's, like, a loot bag over there. We might need to go investigate this loot a little bit quicker. Oh, God dang it. I was just trying to farm some EXP here. Get pop. Hey, did they survive that? Bro, I just domed you. Boop. Oh, mama. Yeah, we're not as domey as I thought. Quick scope. There you go. There's my phase submission, boy. Seven days to die phase. It's kicking off right here, right now. Is that dude just gonna do all the work for us? Hey, I'll take it. Weaken yourself so I can go and take the finishing blow. Boop. Don't move. Oh my god, that dog just moonwalked on us. God dang it, I was about to take him down. Okay, I hear like one, two zombies tops. Again, one is that zombie dog, so I'm worried. We're also kind of hungry, so uh, we're about to make this job. 
We're about to make this dog jelly with a little bit of dog food that we're going to devour. Probably get a little bit of diarrhea here and there, but a little bit of diarrhea never killed no one. Actually, no, I think it's killed lots of people in the past. Not, not in our modern age here. We've moved past that, but like, dude, I don't know. If you got diarrhea on like the Oregon Trail, you know, trying to cross the frontier, uh, that diarrhea might kill you, bro. All right, let's stop talking about diarrhea. <laughs> God dang it, I have diarrhea. What was that noise? Did I just hear a werewolf? I've never heard that noise before. It sounded like the dog, but I'm not sure. Yo, pup, where are you at? I hear it. Ah -ha! I don't like this. Also, I was using the wrong freaking hunting rifle. God dang it, man. I even tossed a mod on this one specifically for this instance. Okay, those are some whack dog noises I'm hearing down there, bro. Don't do me like this. Oh, hello, pup. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Show that bootay. No, oh, there, there, oh my god, dude. What is this doggo doing? Do you see this? Pup! Let's freaking go. And down goes potentially the last remnant of the zombie horde. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We have come out on top. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and god dang it, Bobby, does it feel good? Does not feel good to be this base. Look at that, man. There's like a couple pillars tops. Like if they break a couple more strategic blocks, I'm just saying this entire half of the store is probably coming toppling down. It does not have the structural integrity to hold things up. That's right. There's physics in this game, aka why I was kind of spooked and why we are definitely not moving back here. Day 21. Uh, that is the day we try to have a, a more fortified and kind of real base. Because look at the damage, man. And now we're just in that damage assessment phase. They're, look at this. They're destroying my deck, man. I wanted to have a... Uh, I, I don't know. What do you do on a deck? I wanted to play some cards on my front porch. Apparently that's too much to ask nowadays. But uh, with that, we are officially trying to move out of here. Actually, oh, you know what else I just realized? We may have forgot some loot. And by forgot, I mean we may have had an empty, not empty, full inventory when this loot over here did drop. Uh, so there might be some stuff up here that I want to grab really quickly. But there you boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, have it. Day 14 has been conquered. Thank you for joining us on this journey up to this moment. And plenty more to come. If you guys have not already, make sure that you get this ain't the outro, by the way. Just uh, just 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 a little reminder over here. Make sure that you guys are subscribed with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the fan for fantastic jazz we got going on. Lots of amazing things coming. Obviously, like I was saying, we about to be doing this uh, chopper construction. Try to get that bad boy built and literally. That should streamline our movement capabilities, which is the big thing, man. Once you get a chopper, you're able to move across so much more freely. And we're already in the middle of this, like, giant metropolis where, like, look at just all of these, like, just little towns all surrounding these, like, four main roads. We died down there. We were exploring some more towns, so actually having the chopper to properly get between spots in a timely fashion is going to be huge. And it will let us scout the rest of the areas we haven't and see if we can't find some good base candidates. And of course, let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below. But the question is for day 21, do we start trying to build up our own base from scratch? Which is, it, it could be risky, you know? I just don't know if we're ready for that. Do we start trying to go from scratch or no? I... Uh, ba -ja -ba I thought I thought I could I, 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 I thought there was more stuff below it turns out I was mistaken well there go my legs I don't need those cankles anyway <laughs> god freaking dang it dude are you kidding me right meow are you kidding me right meow bruh whatevs we done with you all those cabinet thank you for keeping me alive for like the past two weeks. I appreciate that. Speaking of being kept alive though, uh, we need to try and, you know what we need to try and do? Acquire some hydration. Dude, I'm really bummed we didn't like really get any loot from that. We do have like some stuff here. Oh, that's another thing we should do too. We should see, oh, look at that pistol, it's glorious. We gotta get some more freaking things on this pistol, by the way, but you know what we need to do? Before we head out of here, 
I, I'd love to try and sell some stuff and make a little bit more money. There is this one mod that I really, 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 really want to get from the trader. Because, like, here's the thing. Once we move out of here, I don't know when the next time we're coming back here is, guys. Because we about to be making some big bowler type moves. All right. Stay in your lane, son. Because we about to be going full speed in hours. Also, check it out. TV! I will happily collect you and some of those scrap polymers while I can. Thank you! There's literally five scrap polymers from a TV. Easy peasy. Allow me to continue stockpiling these. I think this is just going to give us electronic components, but... Uh, we gotta try and sell some stuff. Oh, I didn't use the sniper rifle during the entirety of that. Whoopsies! It doesn't have a scope anyway. Oh, that's another thing too. When we get the opportunity, we gotta try and buy a big old scope. Because we can craft one. Oh, so yeah, that's another thing too. I forgot. We got five perk points! Oh, let's go, baby! Let's go! We can craft the workbench, table saw, crossbow. Yeah, dude, that's just that's just a good idea all around. Then we could actually craft a workbench in our own home. Grease monkey, we need to get level two of that because we do need to be able to craft mini bikes. After that, motorcycles. Unfortunately, we need level 50. We're level 30 right now. So we gotta be getting some more EXP, which we get from mainly killing zombies. This is my, my favorite way. Uh, we do also have all of these things over here in case you guys did not notice. Ooh, speaking of devil, actually, let's mod these bad boys. Modify! Put the scrap plating on. Make it a little bit more powerful armor. We'll probably take this off, too, for when we travel, because it does drain our... Whatchamacall? It drains our stamina a lot stronger, too. We'll put... Can I put the scrap plating on this by chance? Uh, let's modify. No! Whack. Alright, we'll go back to putting that on. We might have some... Oh, didn't we have like a... We, no, we had a really good helmet we might be able to modify on our dead body. So yeah, I think the goal for day 15, which is what we have just begun. I want to get that mini bike crafted. And... I just want to start the journey, man. And hopefully buy that last mod. Because like I'm saying, once we make our way down... I just, I don't know when the next time we're going to be up here is. And this trader does have a really nice mod that I do want to grab before it despawns. But, oh, we're going to be going down into unexplored territory. We got to create some sort of a base down there. Hopefully sell a couple of these things. Oh, yeah, whatchamacallit. Uh, let's, 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 let's put on the rest of that scrap armor. Military leg armor. We already got some padding on that. Military boots. I don't think military can put plating on it. Is that what it is? Is, like, military not take plating no, no, I think we need like iron boots or something more like heavy duty. So that's fine. I'll put that back on. Maybe we could sell these for a couple of bucks. Yeah, that's heavy armor. Okay, okay. We got to find some stuff to sell, man. I'm not trying to walk out of here without that mod. So it was like some kind of spring loader mod that I think makes our guns shoot faster. And any type of mod, too, will always make sure that our weapons are uh, being more powerful as well. Like they do boost the damage. All right. Oh, speak of the devil. I forgot. There's no proper way into this base. We got to build our way up like a boss. And with that said and done, anything in here that we could sell? I we uh, there's a couple of things we got to bring along with us on the mini bike too. Uh, I wish you. Uh, I wish we had more valuables. Do have like land my? I'm having a heat stroke, bro. Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. I know I'll, I'll put the cowboy hat back on. I'll put some of these less uh, less heavy-duty things on that should kind of lighten the load a little bit. Uh, oh, I forgot to grab those shotgun shells. That would have come in handy. I mean, we didn't even use the shotgun a whole ton, but probably wouldn't have been a bad thing to not grab that, you know? <laughs> um, Out of some of these things that sell... Like, these we're not going to have until Yes Science Tier 3. And the problem with that is, like... Dude, we're not getting that tier till intellect level 8. And, uh, I mean, we're up to level 6. Speaking of which, we can't actually get... Yes, science! Level 1, so we'll do that. Our perk points are donezo. Oh, we could have mm, maybe got some barter skills, too. That would not have been too shabby. I know that we have a quest over there. That we've just never really done because it's in the middle of the desert. And uh, you guys know I'm not a fan of the desert, so... I don't know if that quest is ever getting done. <laughs> Uh, but in terms of stuff to sell, I mean, the headlights, like, ah, we could sell these Fort Bites, too. Make a little bit of money off that. Like, I don't, like, I know that some of these things are probably pretty decent, but I, I, we just gotta make some moolah, baby. We gotta make a little bit of the money, money, money. And God dang it, I want that money. 
Uh, yeah, we could. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll sell the landmines for now. Although it'd be super. Ah, uh, no, dude, I want to freaking landmine my next base. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below regarding what type of a base we should investigate. If we should just try to fortify an existing base, or if we should actually go out of our way. Oh, we could sell these rockets for a pretty penny too. Okay, I knew I was forgetting something valuable. Or if we should try and build one from scratch. It might just be hard to do the from scratch. Like, you guys need to understand that. I'll still try my best. Don't get me wrong, but it could definitely be a hard sell. Yo, can I repair this? Nice. Because it sells for a lot more when it's fully repaired. Oh, if we could sell this nice durability iron sledgehammer. Because we have this even nicer one. So I'm not too concerned. That would not be shabby. There's some of the stuff we need to craft things. Alright. I think we're looking pretty millhouse. Uh, oh, and there's some of that bottled water. I was looking for it as well. Let's uh, glug, 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 glug. drink that up. We'll get a second sip in here. I don't want to grab too much stuff because we already have some stuff in our inventory. And uh, all right, let's go and hopefully make this sale. Let's not fall down here this time and destroy our health. Sheesh, dude. That was a fat L we took, but yeah, let's go to our final visit of this trader because um, potential final visit. I just don't know. When we're going to visit this lad again. So, it could be our final goodbye. Or, maybe just another goodbye. And then another hello. In a couple of days, but... That's the game plan. Also, sorry that it's been a little bit of a while. Since the last episode. Just this past week has been a lot more hectic than I expected. Like, all of these new games have been coming out out of, like, nowhere. Like, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator came out. We started checking out Elder Scrolls Blades a little bit and seeing what that was about. A couple of things like that here or there. But uh, things are kind of starting to calm down. It is going to get pretty crazy later in the month. But I do just want to say, guys, don't, don't worry. You know, if Seven Days to Die is suddenly going to be over, there will be a finale episode. That is tradition. We always go out with a bang. Otherwise, I'm always doing my best to get that next episode out to y'all. Especially now, it is like midterm season two. So cut me a little bit of slack on that front. And wish me a little bit of luck too, baby. Because we do have our... Uh... Oh, nice. It's actually open. We didn't come here too early or whatever. Uh, we do have our big test coming up. We have a midterm tomorrow. No, it's Saturday. Speak, survivor. Okay, spooky. <laughs> we got that going on on Saturday, and I got a couple of freaking little projects I got to work on. Got a group project I got to get to work on soon. It's no bueno. Give me the money, money, money. Thank you ever so kindly. Do you want guns? Oh, he wants guns. He wants guns again? Oh, God dang it. He does not want the gun. Oh, he wants hunting rifle. Please, comrade, take hunting rifle. He does not like shotgun, but he likes the rifle that they hunt. And he does not like compound bow. Okay. Do you like iron plate? I don't want to sell iron plating, though. Uh, how much are we up to? Is that enough for what I'm looking for? Because I'm looking for... Oh, dude, we have just enough. Increases the rate of fire on self-loading weapons and increases recoil. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you ever so kindly. Uh, any other mods that I'm really eyeing? I, I don't think so. We'll just kind of make sure I'm not missing anything here. Oh, I already have a level six sledgehammer. No, thank you. Oh, speaking of nice things, thank though. You, oh, survivor. yeah, no problem, bro. Soon, get new merchandise daily. Now, the question is... Right, because that rod and spring replacement can go on self-loading weapons, a.k.a. automatic weapons. Which means, oh, we could put it on the sniper rifle, which does 50 damage. I kind of want to put it on our most powerful weapon. Dude, we might be able to have like a freaking VSS out here with this mod. Okay, okay, I'm interested. 55 damage and that fire rate. For the sake of science, let's just uh, see how full auto this is. Yeah? Okay, never mind. We got to reload first. And then let's see how full auto this is. Okay, so it's not really full auto. I can't like hold down the trigger. But... I mean, it, it might shoot faster in between shots? Maybe we might go... Let me know what you guys think regarding what mod... Or what, what, not, what mod... What weapon we should put it out on. I'm kind of down to put it on the pistol too. Because I, we could pretty much, we kind of have in the midst over here, the godliest pistol ever potentially being created. Look at that damage boost, dude. Up to 38 plus extra 53 rounds per minute. And we still have three more mod slots. That pistol, that's the thing, dude. Full durability, not full durability, full quality. 
It's so good. Because what is it? Starting at level 2, you have one mod slot. Level 3, you get two mod slots, etc, etc. So at level 6, you have five mod slots to play with. Oh, dude. That's actually not too bad. Because now we have the, whatchamacallit, like, burst fire thing on this thing, too. That limits us to three shots. So, like, I'm just saying, you know, just kind of line up the shots. Boop, boop, boop. It kind of fires fast enough now to the point where, like, okay. I'm kind of cool with the fact that this is a burst fire. So, things are coming up, Bill House. We got the upgrade we wanted before saying sayonara for now. But now the time comes. There is a mini bike that needs constructing. And there is a backpack that needs saving. It has not despawned yet. Hopefully it stays that way. We have some incredibly valuable things within there. We're going saving private backpack most likely tomorrow. Depends on how quickly the mini bike gets us where we want to go. We might need to make a pit stop and fortify somewhere along the way because let me just say that is eh, that's a cross country road trip, bros. That is uh, <laughs> that's a long time. What is that like two kilometers? Two kilometers. That is many kilometers. But with that said, with that done, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.